temperature from Cancun, Mexico. Uh, you can see some dark clouds certainly on the horizon, some showers in the distance as well. Some wind starting to pick up as now tropical storm Helene starts to pass by. Storm warnings, hurricane watches, flood advisories. They're in effect for some areas now in the storm's path. Certainly bears watching. And you take a look here at the satellite view and you can see where the storm is right now as it's sort of getting its act together. Expected to become a major hurricane when it makes landfall in Florida later this week. And anytime we get a named storm, there is certainly a lot to go over. Hey, Rachel, we've had to spend some time this afternoon talking about kind of local storms right now. I haven't had a lot of time to break down Helene and what might be coming of it. How strong is this expected to be when it finally gets to that Florida panhandle area? Yeah, unfortunately for the big bend of Florida, this will likely be a major hurricane. And this has been the thinking here the past couple of days. Still tropical storm strength right now. You've got maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. But as this moves to the west northwest, 12 miles per hour, what's going to be taking place? We could see intensification to a category one hurricane as we head into the day on Wednesday with those maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour. But as this moves into the Gulf of Mexico, not only the warm waters it's almost like a bath a warm bath fuel for this system that's really going to increase that intensity it's also going to increase in scope of size over time uh, but some of the winds in play also going to be favorable for intensification so that by the time this makes landfall on thursday just a day later this could be a category three that major hurricane status that's given to category three and above hurricanes because it can allow for devastating impacts especially around the big bend of florida where you have that hurricane watch that's in place for now uh, that may have to be upgraded so they're going to see hurricane force winds storm Storm surge, heavy rainfall. Uh, those are all going to be concerns out towards the coastline of Florida. Obviously, Tallahassee, Florida State, mm -hmm. the capital there, something to be watching in Florida as well. Okay, so then Georgia. Then the Carolinas, what do we think in the impacts might be here? That's right, and I want to break these down almost impact by impact for you because eventually, Jamie mentioned it, this curves to the west of us, putting us on the east side of the center of circulation, and that's where the impacts are going to be the highest. I want to talk about rain first, and what you're seeing on your screen includes the rainfall that we're expecting from yesterday, today, tomorrow, Thursday, leading up into Friday, six to 10 inches of rainfall, flooding rain that could not only uh, saturate the grounds, it really won't take much in the way of winds to knock down trees at that point, but landslides in the southwest parts of the mountains of North Carolina, that is totally a possibility. I mean, that is a lot of rainfall concerning nonetheless. Four to six inches of rainfall possible here in the Charlotte Metro. And again, this includes the rain that we're expecting in the days leading up to all of this. But we're also expecting 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So you're looking at your power outage potential here scattered to numerous power outages. And I think the best timing of this, Jamie, yeah. would be for that early Friday morning commute where the strongest of winds are going to be possible here at home. And if this storm moves quicker, those winds will be higher because sure. it's going to have less time to decrease in intensity. Uh, just important information so everyone at home can, can get ready for what's Absolutely. coming our way. Rachel, great stuff as always. Appreciate you. Coming up next here.